Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will see what are the accessors in the Laravel. So before going to start, I'm just going to tell you the steps of the video. So first of all, we will see what is the accessor in the Laravel. Then we have to make a controller, router and motor and then we will just write the code for accessor and see the example also. Alright, so now the question is what is the accessor? So basically when you just want to modify your data which is coming from your model or the database then you can use the accessors so for example uh, let's say uh, your first name uh, and you just want to add some uh, prefix with the uh, first name like you just want to add the mister with the first name then you can just simply add a accessor in your model and it will just implement your all functionality you don't you don't need to call it anywhere in the view and uh, in the controller and everything all right so that's it so now let's see with the example so first of all let's see the my php my admin with, so that we can just open our database here you can see that this is my database with the name of youtube and i have a table with the name of products so uh, in this video we will see that how we can modify the price how we can modify the name with the accessors so let's see so uh, just make a controller and model now so just write here php artisan make controller and controller name can be like products controller product controller and just hit the enter and after that let's create a model also with the name of uh, my model name should be product because my table name is products and uh, guys if you don't know about the controllers and models and how we can just connect with the database then you can watch our previous video link is also given in the description box for all videos uh, right but still i will try that i will just tell you everything in the same video also so just make a model also all right after just making them let's open the dot env file and check your credentials put your database name username and password here and if you are just uh, setting it first time then you must have to restart your php artisan server be after changing the dot env file all right so now let's make a route for them for the controller in the web.php just write here route get and your route name let's say product products and uh, here you can just write your controller name controller and the function which we have to implement inside it which is index right now just open the product controller here and just write off your function let's say function index all right and just write here return hello from pc now let's check this thing is it working fine or uh, product okay so we have to use the products here right mm -mm. i think i just forgot semicolon somewhere yeah now that's perfect so this is working fine so now let's import your model inside your controller so just use here use app product right with the semicolon also and now you can just simply write here product colon all and it will return the old data which is present inside the products table here you will find now let's first of all let's uh, with the uh, accessor we just have to uh, capitalize the first character of name so for that let's go inside the model like here and just define here accessor so just write here public function and with that just write here get and after get just put your column name which is name and it should be start with the capital letter and after that just write here attribute all right and this uh, accessor will have a value uh, a variable with the name of value you can put any name it all right so just return and just use your uc first uh, um, 
you see first and just define here dollar value and now let's try to check it what we actually got it here now you can see that we got our first character capital here perfect so now let's make one more so that we can just modify some amount in the discount uh, uh, in we, j we can just some put some discount inside the price so that how we can do this so let's make a get with the column name which is price and now just uh, divide it by the some value like you just want to provide the 10% discount then divide it by the 10 and now let's see what actually you got here now you can see that the price is actually uh, have actually we have to <laughs> minus it by the 10% so uh, value minus value and uh, then we can just simply divide it uh, by let's say I just want to put here 10% discount then 10 into 100 right uh, we have to put here like this all right so now it it will just produce a 10% discount of it now let's see yes now you can see that this is a 10% discount that this is the way that how it actually make your work easier with the accessors in the laravel so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care